Hello, how are you? Well, this is for Kids Starter and Kids Starter Plus, okay? This is the video and your class of the week. Everything okay? Are you ready? Very good. So look at this. Look at what I have here. Yes, what is this? It's a poster. Okay, it's a poster. And what is the poster about? ¿Qué pueden ver acá? It's a house. Very good. And what is this? Yes, the garage, the kitchen, the living room, the bathroom, and this is the bedroom. Very good. So today we are going to practice the vocabulary of the bedroom. Okay, so look at this. Let's go to the copies I sent you, de las imágenes que, que les mandé. If you have the book, for the people who have the book, los que tengan el libro, this is book page 22, okay? Unit 2, page 22. And if you don't have the book, para que todavía no llego a tener el libro, you look at the pictures I've sent you. So here we have a room. Tenemos el cuarto, la habitación. And we're going to practice the vocabulary of the room. Okay, we're going to practice the vocabulary. So, it says, complete the labels with the words in the box. We have to complete with these words, with the word laptop, poster and TV. Laptop, poster and TV. So, number one, where is number one? Number one is here. What is that? What is that? Yes, it's a poster. Ahí ponemos poster. Very good. And what is number two? Number two. What's that? Es la ventana. Y en el cuarto de abajo está la ventana? Yes, a window. So number two is window. Lo copiamos desde abajo. And number three? Number three, can you see it? ¿Lo llegan a ver? Yes. Es el, el placar and it's a wardrobe. Wardrobe. And number four? Number four, can you see it? Yes, it's there. It's the floor. El piso, the floor. And number five? Okay, se dan cuenta que es. Number five is a rug. Rug. Que es una alfombra. Una felpuda, una alfombrita chiquita. Rug. And number six? Where is number six? Number six is here. It's a door. Door. Okay. And number seven? Seven? Lamp. Lamp. And number eight? Well, here we have two words. We have two words because the plural is irregular. I mean, we have shelf que es un estante, and shelves, the plural form, para hablar de los dos estantes. Shelf and shelves. What about number nine? Number nine was the window. Okay, we have the two windows. And number ten? Number ten? Can you see it? Where is it? Okay, it's there. Number 10 is the laptop. The laptop. Sí, la computadora, sí. Que acá le decimos notebook, is the laptop. 11 is the chair. 11, chair. And 12? The most important thing in a bedroom. The bed. 12 is bed. And 13, 13, 
is a box. Box. Una caja. And 14 is a plant. A plant. And 15. And 15 is the desk. The desk. El escritorio. Ok. Yes? A lot of vocabulary, a lot of words, muchas palabritas. But they are not hard, ok? They are familiar words. Well, so after that, you are ready, ya están listos, to complete the words in this bedroom. Ok. Well, if you have the copy, if you put it in the copy, lo escriben ahí. If not, we do it together and then you write it in another sheet of paper. Si no lo pueden escribir, lo vamos a hacer oral, todos lo van a hacer oral conmigo. Y lo escriben en un papel y después lo pegamos. So, number one. What is number one? TV. Yes, TV or television. Number two. Yes, poster. Number three. Vamos, vamos, miren, miren y díganme. Number three. Plant. And number four. Window. Number five. Laptop. And number six. Shelf. Yes. And number seven. It's a lamp. Lamp. Number eight. Uh, esta es más difícil. Number eight. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. Number nine. Bed. Yes. Bed. Number ten. Box. Number eleven. Floor, yes, floor. Number twelve. Rug, yes, rug. Thirteen is the chair. Fourteen. Yes, can be her desk. Very good, I can be her desk. And fifteen is the Door. Perfect. Perfect. Well, and now you can do these two exercises. In number one, you have to find the words in the room and then here. I think you can find acá And number two, you have to answer. For example, is it a lamp? No, it isn't. It's a plant. Is it a door? Si fuese una puerta, decimos, yes, it is. Si no fuese una puerta, no, it isn't. For example, vamos a hacerlo juntos, vamos a hacer otro juntos. Is it a chair? Is it a chair? No, it isn't. It's a TV. It's a TV or television. Very good. Another one. Is it a plant? Is it a plant? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Perfect. And is it a is it a window? Is it a window? No, it isn't. It's a wardrobe. It's a wardrobe. Is it a lamp? Is it a lamp? No, it isn't. It's a desk. It's a desk. 
Is it a lamp? Is it a lamp? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Is it a bed? Is it a bed? No, it isn't. It's a window. Very good. Is it a bed? Yes, it is. Is it a laptop? Is it a laptop? No, it isn't. It's a chair. Is it a rug? Is it a rug? Yes, it is. Is it a shelf? Is it a shelf? No, it isn't. It's a door. Okay. Very good. Now, listen to this sentence. I tell you, I've got a lamp. I've got a lamp in my room. I've got a lamp in my room. ¿Se entiende qué quiero decir? Y si yo les digo, I haven't got a desk in my room. I haven't got a desk in my room. ¿Se entiende lo que dije ahí? Bueno, en caso que no se entienda, vamos a explicarlo si se entiende. Vamos a ah, oraciones with have got. Have got means tener. Es para hablar de lo que tenemos o no tenemos. Si yo les digo, I've got a dog, I've got a dog, it means tengo un perro. I haven't got a cat, I haven't got a cat, no tengo un gato. Ok, I've got, para lo que tengo, I haven't got, para lo que no tengo. Si estoy hablando de una sola cosa, uso a or an. I've got a dog, tengo un perro. I haven't got a cat, no tengo un gato. Ahora, si yo digo, I've got some pencils, I've got some pencils. Tengo algunos lápices. Some for the plural. Some for the plural. No digo cuántos tengo. Tengo algunos. Tengo una cantidad. Uso some. Pencils with an S. I haven't got any plants. I haven't got any plants. Any in the negative. Plants with an S. No tengo algunas plantas. Have you got any posters? Have you got any posters? If I ask you, les pregunto si tienen algo, uso any. Porque estoy hablando en plural, in the plural. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Ustedes me responden. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Ok, entonces, ¿qué es have got? Tener. Very good. So, using this, usando esta información, we can do these exercises. Ok. So, in these exercises, you have to look at the rooms. Tienen que mirar los cuartos. Sí, que es el cuarto de Leo. And complete. Completar. Si tiene o no tiene esas cosas. For example, a bed. Una cama tiene. Entonces pusimos I've got. Si no tuviese, decimos I haven't got. Ok. Very good. Now, part C. Exercise C. We continue about Leo. Seguimos sobre Leo. I've got some... I haven't got a, I've got some, well, 
Tienen que mirar las fotos y contestar. ¿Qué es de lo que el lío tiene? ¿Una sola cosa? ¿De cuáles tiene muchas cosas? ¿Ok? Ok. In number four, number four here, you have to write final sentences about the room. Otras oraciones de escribir sobre estos cuartos. Sobre, como si ustedes fuesen el dueño del cuarto. Por eso dice, I've got. Ustedes saben que son Leo. And in the last exercise, en el último, you have to make the questions. Van a hacer las preguntitas. Have you got any posters? Acá le, supuestamente le tienen que hacer a un amigo o compañero o amiga. Como ahora no van a estar con un amigo o compañero, háganle a una persona imaginaria o a la persona que tienen ahí con ustedes en casa. Yes? Ven que dice, have you got any posters? Y la persona va a decir, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. ¿Ok? Y así arman las preguntas. Yes, is it clear? Ok, bueno, último repaso de vocabulario antes de irnos. Let's see, what's this? Oh. What's this? It's a desk. Very good, ¿quién dijo? Muy bien. What's this? A lamp, yes. And what's this? This is more difficult. A wardrobe. Perfect. And what's this? A plant. And what's this? Yes, you can say TV or television. La first también. And what's this? A door. Perfect. And what's this? A rug. Yes. And what's this? A chair. Yes, a chair. And what's this? A bed. Yes. And what's this? A win window. Very good. Great. Perfect. Okay. Well, happy to see you. Yes. I'll see you next week with a new class and a new video. Bye bye, kids. <laughs>